Alexa, and I'm going to assume this is a human Alexa, and, uh, and, and not the artificial intelligence Alexa asking the questions, should Christians celebrate Halloween? I've got an easy categorical answer to that. I think the answer is no. I've done many radio programs on this just about once a year uh, on the briefing. I address this. I do not mean by that that your children can't dress up as cowboys and Indians and, and uh, firemen and policemen and, uh, and princesses and go ask people for candy. That's a, that, that's a different thing. But we cannot celebrate Halloween, which is, after all, a celebration of paganism and is deeply, deeply, and I mean centuries long, rooted in occult practice. And, and by the way, it's showing up, even in recent years, more graphically. Uh, Halloween, as a cultural celebration, is being increasingly openly repaganized uh, with fascination with the occult. So, uh, you know, just take a hint. Uh, those who created Halloween, and which is, by the way, now one of the bigger consumer holidays in the American economy, uh, it has become largely, uh, for many people, it's really kind of a two-story thing. For many people, and this was the way it was when I was a boy growing up, I mean, we, uh, we dressed up, uh, I mean, never anything scary, never anything occult. We just went around and went to the neighbors and uh, asked for candy. They gave us candy. So far as I was concerned, as I was a kid, that was a great thing. Um, I think it's wise for a lot of Christian parents to rethink even that, just given some of the stuff that goes on. But again, in a neighborhood where you know people and there's no paganism and no one acts like there is, it's kind of a fall festival, it can be pretty innocuous. Um, but when it comes to what was asked here about celebrating Halloween, that's where I can be categorical. No, we can't celebrate Halloween. Um, that's just uh, celebrating paganism, rightly understood. Good question, though.